Oh, fuck. Another day inside the bunker, I guess. Uh, God, I hate this life. Alright, well, might as well see what's going on upstairs. Oh my god, they're still out there. How many are there? I can't, I can't see anything. Oh god. Ever since McDonald's took over... Things have just gone downhill. I'm glad I found this safe house. Oh, God. Oh, God, I think they're coming for me. Alright, alright, time to hide inside the house again. Oh, it's a good thing I found a lot of food here. Jeez, there, there is so much food here. I was lucky. Like so many others. The screams. The torture. The Big Macs. Alright. Well, <clears throat> he's just standing here. Might as well see what's going on upside. There we go. Yep. Just as plentiful as always. Ah, yes, and of course they still have that herd mentality. Join us, join us, I'm sure they're thinking. I don't want your Big Macs, damn it! <sighs> God, if only there was something I could do. If only there was something, Jesus. If only there was something I could do to get rid of these things. <sighs> oh, well. Might as well sleep on it. Holy crap. Uh, they're after me. Ah, oh, Jesus. It's a good thing they're slow. Okay, so my foraging time. God, this town is huge. Uh, there's a cow. Might get that for meat later. Uh, it's still following me. Okay, it looks like they stopped following me. Okay, this is a nearby house. Alright, uh, it looks like there's only one chest. Deadly Military Traps, Volume 1. I, I don't know what this is, but I'm getting it back to the house. Alright. Okay, I managed to make it back. Alright, cool. Right, let's get back in the house. Alright, so, what's this goddamn thing about? Survival using mechanics. If you're reading this, you might have an interest in machinery, healing, or surviving in some kind of war or wilderness front. I am here to help you. You will survive using my machines, but you will need tenacity, and... That's it, apparently. I guess the writer just sort of trailed off. Okay, we have a couple of things here. Okay, let's go with uh, Proximity Mine. Right to it, you will need to place a standard piece of TNT and a standard lever, and compressing the TNT into said lever on the ground. It's easier than it sounds. Once you have this mine, you can plant it wherever you want. It takes some time to plant. Once planted, the mine will take about 5 seconds to set up a perimeter. To scan for moving objects, you should leave the area as soon as possible, and anything nearby it will set, will set it off, including you. Okay, it's a good thing this place came equipped with uh, random redstone. Uh, wait, that's not what I want. There we go. Let's get a lever, a TNT. Ooh! Proximity mine. Alright, let's go set it up. Alright, let's just set this right here. Uh, is it gonna work? Okay, okay, I think it's setting up. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just... just come on, come on. Come on, dude, work. Please work. Whoa! Alright, that does seem to work. And that's a pretty sizable hole. I don't have enough. Damn it! Okay, I managed to set up a couple of mines. Let's see if they fall for them. Oh god, yes, it looks like it's working. Uh, oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Come on! 
Looks like these aren't enough. Spike plate. To get a spike plate, you must combine a piston and the barbs of a cactus. In order to combine their properties, you will get a dangerous weapon. You must drop it on the ground where you want it to be and step back. The trap will pop out of the ground at a simple interval of time. With these, you can set up elaborate designs of spike fields your enemies can never cross. You can, however, pick them up rather easily. Let's hope they don't find out. And... 30. Alright, okay, good. We got 30 here. Let's try setting this up. Alright, it seems to be working. Oh man, these spike plates really do the job. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, these spike plates really do their do wonders. It looks so small and indistinguishable. Alright, let's just let them do the do that for a bit. Nope, oh, nope, nope. Stay here. Stay here. Come on, stay here. Come on, you fat McDonald fucks. There we go. This machine demands the use of a dispenser as the body and a comparator as the AI. Combine them. This little machine must be dropped to activate. You can simply grab the little car and it will deactivate. Unfortunately, these parts aren't advanced enough to be programmable, so it can't distinguish friend from foe and only attacks humans. So you want to leave it in a solitary trap room for looters. Okay, let's see how this thing works then. Eh. Eh. Uh. Oh, robot car. Alright. What does it do? Ooh! Ow! Ow! Oh, oh yeah, he did say he was not programmable. Uh. uh <laughs> God damn it. Not what I need right now. Ugh. Oh, alright. That wasn't so bad. Tesla Tower, perhaps the most dangerous contraption, and most effective against humans. You combine the raw energy of a beacon with the conductive properties of the carbon in diamonds, and you get a powerful device of mass electric capacity. Simply drop it on the ground and stand back. A tower will be created harnessing a bolt of lightning. Up close it will electrocute any living creature nearby, and from a distance will create an electric current that travels to any humans within 15 meters. This tower will create infinite energy to use as a weapon, so it will never need to recharge. But if you wish to deactivate it, simply remove the base from the floor that creates the flow of energy. Some debris may appear. Alright, so what kind of thing is this Tesla tower? Whoa. Alright, let's just leave that. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh God, that hurts. Um, ah. Uh, oh. Oh jeez. Ah. Ow. I guess that's an effective weapon. Oh god. Ah. I think I broke a leg. This is but the first volume in a long series of books. I wish to create more traps, perhaps weapons. I hope you survive long enough to read the next volume. Bye. Professor Humphrey Williamson. Well, let's hope all these things within this book happen to be of use to me. Alright? Uh, Alright, so now I gotta defend this place from hoarders and savages. RPG! Uh, what was there? that? What was that? I'm coming for you. Who the fuck was that? Oh my god, no! No, it's him! No, it's Moose! Yes, it's me. Who else could it be? We're like the only two people in this world. Oh, yeah, that's true. God damn it, I told you to stay at your place! Oh, oh damn it! Ah. Holy crap. <laughs> you fell for it, damn it! Come on, I dare you! Tall. I I'm knew floating it. in the air now. Ha! Ha ha ha! Yes, you, so, you fell for it. Oh, there he comes again. God damn it, I told you to stay I'm back! I'm back, and you can't shoot me, because you're bad at aiming. Ah, I get... Aha, look, I gotcha! From the look of it, you ran out of bombs. Uh, so I'm kind of alright oh. how do I get into this house oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap, oh, crap. <laughs> there's a little hole here I can get through that right can I no you cannot um uh -huh. uh, are you gonna do anything to me it should happen in a second uh, I, wish I don't it... like the sound of that I think in this for the meantime I'll just oh. here it comes you hear that no because I'm playing without that video Hmm. So I'm gonna hear your screams <laughs> when I kill you. You become. Yet... Look down. 
Uh, hello there? Hey, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're not a <laughs> nice pet after all. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> it's so fun okay. watching you suffer. <laughs> well, I'm it. Do you sing? I'm your master. Or not. <laughs> I shot you just to make it easier. <laughs> Come on. I dare you. Come at me, bro. Get in here if you can. Hmm. Eh. Hmm. Eh. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see them to be any trap here. How about here? Nothing. Oh, but wait, no, st stay away from there. Okay. No, bad, bad. Okay, oh, I'm God. in here oh, God. and you're gonna die now. Okay, okay, and okay. You're gonna die now. Okay, okay, don't, no, Crap. no. Where's, wait a moment, let me read your mind. <sighs> I know your secrets. Oh, God. I know that. I can come in through here. Oh okay. god, here we go. Uh, you you will never get here. Up. Gonna get you. Gonna get you. No! Yo, uh... Stay back! Haha! -ha. Look at the spikes on the floor, you idiot. What spikes? You'll see them in a second. Do you see them? I see spikes. Yep, and they're hurting you, you I idiot. Hurt. It hurts. Ha! I'm dead. Yes! Go that it. I'm back, dude. Oh, and God. you're gonna die now. No, I you're not. Your traps and you will <sighs> die. This is pretty. But it's killing me, isn't it? Yep. And I can't kill you. Yep, they're gonna shoot you now. And I, I try to run away. No. <laughs> I can't go that it. Go that it, energy. <laughs> go that it. <laughs> I got meat. I got meat. Everything will be okay because I got meat. Oh, yeah. The meat isn't working in RPG. <laughs> but I it. Oh. I didn't see you. If only I had a bow, I'd shoot you. Yes, you could. Unfortunately, you didn't think that far ahead. But I it. Oh, man, I love I got meat, this. man. Mercy. Nope. You, I'm gonna give you meat. No, I, I have meat. But I it. Hey there guys, it's me RPG Grenade, your host and our player, and today we are looking at the special traps mod. The traps and weapons mod, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, this is a mod, and I know I am late to the party because I realized that IJ Minecraft and McMackenstein and a whole bunch of other people have already made their own single command block trap things. But, since I wasn't able to actually show this thing off... I figured I might as well just show it anyways because eh, I worked hard on it. Might as well just show it because I learned quite a few things with this. I particularly like how the spikes just look like little worms or something. It's very funny. Anyways, the primary ingredients that you're probably going to need for this entire thing are TNT, a lever, uh, piston, cactus, some sort of dispenser, and comparators, as well as beacons and diamonds all these ingredients together form exactly all the things you will ever need in order to be able to use this mod it's really quite simple you just com com combine two of these items and you do a bunch of things as you saw in the video beforehand this will explode but just about anything nearby so you just drop TNT and leather I mean leather not leather uh, and you get this proximity mine, which will activate automatically. It'll make that little noise, signifying that it's been gone into the ground. And that means you should stand the fuck back. So, it doesn't matter what gets near it. I th after about five seconds, it'll activate. So, just throw just about anything. It'll explode. So, it works with anything that moves. Basically. Anything that moves, anything that it can sense, it will just go for it and try to kill it. So, that's the end of the proximity mine. Then we have the spike plates, you already see how they work, but the way you make them is just drop a piston, and then you drop a cactus, and you should get the spike plate, after a couple seconds it'll activate and just disappear, and then it'll pop out of the ground and pop away in the ground, it only hurts you while it's out of the ground, so you can make elaborate traps with this thing, it's, I think that's a very nice effect. I know that other people have made better looking designs than me, because they're geniuses, but I like how this one looks at least, so... Sue me. Anyways, oh, <laughs> hello little guy. Um, you know what? I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give you a Tesla tower. So you just drop a beacon and a diamond and you get this 
pretty little b uh, diamond block, which you can use if you feel like it, but you know, screw it. Um, this is, it'll create this Tesla tower. It will hurt any mob that is nearby it. The only issue is that it will only shoot players because it is in fact a, a, an invisible guardian that is shooting you. So yeah, that's sort of necessary in order for it to work. The same goes for the robot car because unfortunately you cannot program silverfish to attack any mob that you feel like. So with the robot car you just sort of drop it anywhere. And after a couple seconds, it'll activate. There it is. And it'll just like move around, do its own little sh thing, until a until a player gets nearby, and then it'll try to kill them. So you want to keep this sort of thing. It's kind of like a guard dog that you can't really control. So it's like the best possible th way to defend your things. It's just they're they're they're, they're finicky. They're finicky. They, they they mess around a lot. They're hard to control, and they're really hard to catch sometimes. They're really easy to grab, you just grab the top of the head and it works. Um, the idea of this mod was to use it primarily for the sake of possibly faction servers or other servers where PvP and destruction of each other is allowed. Oh, also you can deactivate it like this. There you go, and you just get another Tesla Tower and you can use it wherever you want. Anyways, um you're supposed to be able to use these things inside certain servers that allow you to cause destruction, set up traps for players, etc, etc, where they might be able to loot your stuff. And maybe these things will be actually very useful, maybe they won't be. I just figured that there's, that since they use like redstone and simple ways to, <laughs> kind of looks like an antenna, uh, way, they use simple ways to be created in the first place, so maybe it's a good idea to use them. Depends on you. Oh yeah, it looks like this guy got stuck on a spike plate. There we go. Yeah, it, it, they seriously work very well. Um, oh yeah, and also the way to make the special book is using the um, just dropping a book and then dropping a tripwire hook, and you get the book, the deadly military, the, 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 the traps, whatever. I don't really care. I, it, <laughs> give me a break. It's 1:40 a.m. and I'm recording this because I really wanted to get a video out. <sighs> Alright, so now that that's over, let's show you guys how to get this freaking thing into your world or spawn chunks or you know, what have you. So the most important thing you're going to need to do is to find your spawn chunks because you really, really need them. Otherwise, the machine is just not going to work. So what you need first is a command block. So you just go into the commands, go, go give, tab, tab again, C. O M M tab one more time you get a command block at yourself maybe a button maybe a lever doesn't really make a difference just make sure you place it down somewhere decent I'm going to put it around here I think that should work just fine all right then I'm going to put this long ass single command inside ah there we go and it'll appear in the description I'll put a link to it like I have done in the past and then you just let this giant tower appear do its thing. I love looking at this thing. It's kind of interesting. Anyways, and you just let it create itself. It'll seal itself off and everything. And there you have it. You have the uh, Survival Traps mod by RPG Grenade. Of course, that, that would be me. Um, there is another command that you're going to need, as usual, the book fix command. I probably won't be making many books like that anymore in the, be, just to avoid this sort of issues but again they're going to be in the description so what you want to do is go to the left side of the box go to the second column of command blocks and go three down one two three break that one so it's a insert, insert book fix here yeah if, if, if you can just like look through all of them until it says this if it makes it any easier for you so just insert the fix and top that off let's just get ourselves a tripwire hook and a random book so we can test this out hook book there we go yep works perfectly good all right so i think that's it guys there's really not much else for me to say about this one i feel a little bit late having made this one in advance but not having gotten a chance to release it eh, well depend I, I don't really know maybe you guys will like it maybe you won't I 
Okay, um, this world, maybe some of you may recognize it. This is when I downloaded it. It's the Daisy World thing. It's generally used in a lot of survival games and stuff. So if you want to download it, it's pretty easy to find. It's just called the Daisy Map. I'm pretty sure. It has a lot of buildings, a lot of places that maybe you can get some inspiration for your own servers or worlds or whatever. And it's really, really expansive. Um, but I think for the most part, I'm pretty much done. Uh, so I'm going to get together with Moose again so we could do the outro real quick. Okay, guys, that was the traps, survival traps mod. I hope uh, you really liked it. RPG, what am I doing here? Uh, you, you were here to help um, me demonstrate these traps because you're traps. such a good sport. And um, can I go now? <laughs> no, you're gonna be here forever, my slave. Anyway, guys, this was the <laughs> give Moose a help big, me, big thank help you. Me. Somebody <laughs> help me. Give him a big thank you Somebody? for helping us out here today. Because uh, without his help, I would not be able to show off these things. This is multiplayer compatible, although despite the fact it, the certain certain servers, if they're too slow, the um, the traps will be very slow to react. But if you have a decent server going, unlike mine, you can be <laughs> much better at this, and you'll have much better traps to set up. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you on the next single command block mod thing. What do you have to say for yourself, Moose? Somebody help me. Alright, and with that, I'll see you in the next one.